Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Now today we're not doing a Lightroom how to edit like or color grading tutorial. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about Final Cut Pro. Um, now the reason I wanted to talk to you guys was because I recently just edited one of the videos up on this channel um, and Final Cut Pro was running really slowly. Um, so the idea of today's video is to talk to you through about a couple of methods of things that you can do to try and speed up Final Cut Pro. Um, some of these worked for me, some of them didn't. Um, the one that really worked, I'm going to save till the end, so make sure you watch until the end to see that one. Um, so first of all, you guys may or may not know about it. If you come up to here on View, um, you can then turn on better performance or better quality. Um, if you have a fast computer, uh, I'm currently using the 2018 MacBook. It can handle uh, most editing pretty well. It's not the best, but it does do a pretty good job. Uh, I haven't tried 4K editing, but it does seem to do a pretty good job. Um, the problem is sometimes it does begin to lag if you've been using the computer for a while, if you've got other stuff open. Um, so come down and just select better performance, and that will do a really good job of just basically it lowers the quality a little bit here. So basically when you scrub through, you can work on the edit a lot quicker. The thing you can do is get rid of these windows here, here, and also down here. Now, if you've got to the point where you've literally just pasted in your video and your audio file, and it's just in one thing and then all you're doing is going through cutting it down you're not doing any complicated editing you don't really need all of this stuff here um, you only just need to see this and everything down here in the timeline so what you can do is come up to window show in workspace and you can turn off sidebar browser inspector uh, and audio meters so if I do that what this is basically going to do is open up some space on the disk, which means it's not currently trying to run the inspector. It's not trying to keep all this stuff working in the background. All of that's turned off. None of that is actually working. So what's happening is all of the um, processing power is just going into you editing here. Um, it doesn't have a massive effect, but it can just help a tiny bit. So I recommend you go ahead and do that. Uh, it's one of those things that's just really useful to make sure you're doing. Now, another thing you can do, you can see down here when you look at the timeline, currently I can see the image in the video and I can also see the audio. Now if you come along to here, you can select this button here and it will be different depending on which um, Final Cut Pro. If you're on the older version, uh, I think you find it down here at the bottom next to the sort of zoom in, zoom out bar. Um, so if you come on, click on this, all of these different things, so here you can increase the size of the clip just to help you see what you're looking at. I recommend putting that down, if your computer's running slow, you can put that down quite small. Probably around there is probably a good bet. I used to keep it about there. To go the fastest that you can, if you want Final Cut Pro to run as smooth as you can, you want to just click on select um, this one here, which basically just shows you the clip. It doesn't show you any other information, any audio, it doesn't show you the video, it doesn't show you anything at all apart from this little blue box. Um, and that basically means there's just less that is rendering, less for this Final Cut Pro to load. The only thing you can see now is this bit here that you're working on. Um, now, sometimes that's not particularly useful, uh, especially if you're doing um, editing with audio. I always like to see the audio waves down below. So you can also just click on here where you can just see the uh, video. Select this one, which is what I'm usually on, where you can see the video and the audio. This one, you can see this one where you see more audio than video. This one is basically just audio, and this one is just complete audio. Um, I recommend just going sticking with this one on the very end, or this one here, uh, if your computer is lagging really slowly. Um, once you've done that, just close that and you're ready just to keep on editing. Okay, so as I promised, the uh, final thing you can do to really speed up Final Cut Pro is um, press Command, comma. Alternatively, you can come up here to um, Final Cut Pro Preferences. So if you come over to Import, you want to make sure that Create Optimized Media and Create Proxy Media is selected. Um, basically what that means is there is less for the uh, Final Cut Pro to render while you're editing with it. I don't exactly understand fully how it works, but it just creates a piece of media that is easier for you to scrub through. I think it creates a lower bit rate, uh, something fancy like that. But basically it just allows you to edit your photos quicker and easier without the f uh, software lagging. Um, so you can just create optimized media which kind of does the same sort of thing, but creating proxy media usually does a better job. So just make sure you've got them both clicked if you want. And then you can also, once you've done that, turn that off. You can also come up to view here, and then you can just make sure that your media you're editing is the proxy media. Now when you do it, you've got to make sure that the proxy media takes time to load, otherwise you get this sign here saying missing proxy. And once you've done that, you can always come back to optimized or original media, and that just shows there. So one thing I also find useful is here, instead of when you scroll up, you can see how it's trying to load. Um, one thing you can do is just select here, 
and it will put it all in this sort of style here which means there's just less to load in the background of Final Cut Pro. Now that's basically it for today's video. I hope these sort of uh, little tips and tricks do help you speed up Final Cut Pro. Um, if not, I recommend just clearing your cache, uh, clearing your uh, trash and just opening up a little bit of space on your computer. Um, but those are really the best ways of optimizing Final Cut Pro. I hope this video was useful to you uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Live long and prosper.